super thanks shout outs go to at Michael Van Kurt 3576 supporting the last two videos definitely appreciate all the support you show to the channel then we have at Corti 73 also supporting the last two videos I appreciate both of you guys those that do support and can support I really do appreciate it now on to today's video thanks bud thanks for sharing are we gonna do a run? Yeah, I'm gonna go up there and just take it easy and run this thing and see, try not to break anything today. No, I don't break anything. I just broke two pieces of it. <laughs> you guys can eat. Just more of, more of playing. All right, welcome back. So we are on the X Max Ultimate, and he picked up his uh, X Max finally. And already broke the gears, landed on power. So we're gonna run this thing, new body, and see how it goes. And it's electric, so you're equally friendly. Yeah, after the last run, I I ripped one of the tires. Didn't even realize it. Yeah, it's a common thing, especially when you gear up. I know. But you, I like you know my other one, the one I ran last week with you. Yeah. Um, you oh, know, I still have the powdered gear in there, that 46. I knew that. Because if you notice, I don't land on power, I don't break on power, and I try not to over hold the throttle in the air. Because that's what makes the glue come undone. Okay, in my defense, I try to do the same, but yep. I'm excited. Oh yeah, we all get excited. <laughs> it's a new RC. <laughs> yeah. And you're trying to run it like an XRT. That's right. Yep. I, now it started this morning. <laughs> I ran it this morning, four set, two sets of batteries. Wow, you've been here a while. No, I wasn't here. I ran it in my uh, space. Oh, one. okay. I, I gotta take you there one day. Yep. You'll love it. I was running with a couple other guys. With, remember? And it has the block off plate for the wheelie bar. In the bag with oh, yours. Yeah, the rubber piece? Yeah, the little rubber piece you stick in there. But with this one, you kind of want the wheelie bar. Yes, but it gets in your way on landing sometimes. Yeah. And you'll notice you'll start flipping because the wheelie bar hits first. Yeah. No, but for this, I want any protection in the back of the body. Yes. Because the body is like 100 bucks. Oh, I, well, yeah, they're 80. I can't keep it for three days. 79.99. Oh, oh, that because of the sale right now? Yeah, and they come with the roof slider, everything. Maybe I should buy one and keep it. I'll get the rock and roll. I, I like this color. Yes, what is this one called? Uh, solar Flare. Oh, Solar Flare. I think that's what RC Guy Garage got. Oh, the he, Solar Flare. I gotta see. I, gotta I got see. the rock and roll. Yeah, I like and that that's just too. because that's all he had. No, I like the rock and roll. I, if I buy another one, it will be. Yeah. I like the... Like, Bright color. <laughs> <laughs> At night you can see it. Yes. No, oh, they're bright and nice. Yeah, I like the X Max now. I was kind of. Eh, I'm eh. telling you, it takes skill to land it. And, and I'm used to truggies and, and the yes. rips and the XRT rips. And yes. Out the box, like you said, the gears makes you like, what? Yeah, that's why you have to yeah. stick in the optional. Yeah, it's. Because RC Guy Garage did the same thing and, and kept crashing and broke it because yeah. he didn't have the wheel speed. Okay, so let me ask you this. I just called Traxxas today and I ordered the... The hardened gear? No, no, that I'm getting, but I'm uh -huh. getting the Bluetooth. Oh yeah, the module. You, have you, you have it? Yeah. Okay, so does These that... come with it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Don't but it you... doesn't doesn't work because I changed the ESC. Okay, but if you have the old ESC, uh -huh. is the thermistor in the motor read yes. on the phone? Temperature wise? Yes. That's what I wanted for. Yeah. And you got to, even if you put a Mach 6, you turn that setting on and you can use the existing thermal cutoff for the Mach 6. Oh, really? Yeah, because the sensor's there. Wait, can you program it from the app and say if it hits 170 degrees Fahrenheit, shut down? Yes. And you same can? thing with a Mach 6. You put in the, the card and you tell it, hey, at this temperature, I use 200. At this temperature, shut down. Wait, is anybody else does stuff like that or Texas is the only one? Well, any censored motor has the temperature in it. Oh. So if you run the censored wire. Oh. That's what's nice about the Hobby Wing G2 stuff, is it's all censored. 
That's good to know. But censored are not really good for bashing. No, 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 no. I don't want censor. I just want the temperature because I keep bringing the truck with my infrared gun uh -huh. since I'm gearing up and playing. Yeah. You know? But if you can look in the phone. Yes. You don't have to It'll use. literally cut off. Oh, that at one sitting? At 200. No, 200 is too much. Uh, no, 220 is where nitro motors run. Nitro is different. It's gas. Oh, I understand, but even on electric, when I do speed 200? runs, I go up to 250. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to... So 200 is... Is, is the limit. It'll last a long... It's not a limit. It'll last a long time at 200. I've never changed one of these X-Max motors. And you I've never time. had one go bad. I run... Mm -hmm. Gotta remember, all of mine still have factory motors. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. So... That's not showing, actually. Yeah, 200, you're still safe. 220, you should probably think about stopping. I, I was shooting for 160 and 70, Yeah, but that... Yeah, that, that'll happen right away. You gotta remember on grass is when you'll get uh, those 200 degrees. Grass and sand. Yes. Grass and sand will kill it. Yes. No, it's nice here. I'm not really familiar with this kind of track. Yeah, this is the one I like height. That's where it's fun to run these things. <laughs> Good brakes. Yes. They're set up pretty good from the factory. I mean, everybody has their brand. Yeah. Hit that rock. <laughs> yep, you went on the other side of the hill. Yeah, the X, the XRT, or I mean the Unlimited, they have the better steering servos. Yes. So they're more responsive. And you change the aluminum uh, rods to the wheels? What is that? Not on this one, on the green one. Yeah. I put them back to plastic. This one yeah. still has the aluminum. So you gotta have some flex. Yes. And so we'll see if this one breaks. But this is what happens. The body pops out, mm. and then it starts to rip the body because you don't catch it, you see? Oh, maybe trim it. So you keep... And that's what I'll do when they rip on the other one, which I have in the car. I'm gonna show it putting the roof slider on the, the other body, trimming this out. But with all the flex, that's what happens. Yeah, and that's yeah. why your body tears here. I know, that body's probably gonna... Gonna bite one. <laughs> That's that plastic chassis slap. <laughs> yep, control. Isn't that a fun jump? Yeah. I like bigger jumps more than a bunch of little ones. Yes. Yeah, that's a great one. Go for it. Okay. Nose digger. Hey, I want to see that five times. <laughs> Uh, we can. <laughs> See, I'm trying to watch yours so I could film it, and I missed the jump. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Almost landed on top of you. <laughs> when you win. 
Go ahead. <laughs> I landed at the top of the joke. Yes. Not anymore. <laughs> and I run 1846. 2046 is even better. But you run the risk of ripping the factory tires. Yeah. No, I'm going 2050 like the XRT. And then put the sledgehammer belt in and you'll be fine. Yep. Well, I do have the blue line uh, that I bought earlier for the XRT. I'm going to try them after this. Yep. <laughs> How did you like the J Compton last time? They're just like these. But heavier. But heavier. So these are better? I still like these better. But the other one will last forever. This is not going to last forever. They have more grip on those. Okay. So all depends on what you're trying to do. I think in sand, those will be really yeah. good. Yep. But they're $240. Yeah, they're not cheap. But these are 200 too. Yes. So 10 bucks a tire, not bad. $20 more for, yeah, $10 a tire. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going. Woo! This goes up. Yes. Especially if you time it. <laughs> I want to say something, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> uh oh. I want to say, should we try Raphael's jump? But no, no. <laughs> don't do it. Raphael's jump cracks me up. <laughs> you know, a lot of that slab is the body, like if you... It's run, rattling. If yeah. you just put foam under the body, the noise will go away. Or run it without the body like I do. Yeah, but Pretty then bad. you run the risk of breaking stuff inside. If you land upside down on a rock... Yes. Yeah. But everything inside is cheaper than that body. Not the batteries. <laughs> no, no, my battery is cheap. Are Sometimes they? 30 bucks a piece. Oh, okay. 60 bucks. Oh, okay. Cheap. Yeah, the, these are 60 bucks a piece. That's 120. Yeah. And I can buy a body for 80 bucks. Yeah. And then if they catch on fire from hitting a rock, yeah. the RC's done. What, what batteries are these? Those are the Electron Pros, the soft pack. Good long time? Run time? See, we, we ran last time with them. I'll, I'll check them out after. Yeah, they're small. That's why I like them, because I can run them in my 4S cars. So, one battery fits a bunch of RCs. Yep, that's the way to go. <laughs> I was watching the video last time, I noticed my tire on the X-Max was shaking and then I saw the rip. Yep. Oh, did you get that? Yes. That was like a chassis splitter. <laughs> well, that is the ultimate test for running the motor without the fins and the washers. Yes. So if it breaks, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, that was a big impact. Yep. <laughs> oh, this have hardened steel gears. Yes. Okay. Well, I had them send me the 46. I remember that. Yes. Which they're saying it doesn't come with it now. Yes, they changed the sticker. Yes, well, in the in the pamphlet, it used to say include it with the, in the quick start guide. That's right. Now it now it's no. not going to. In the box also it says optional. Yeah, well, my box says optional too. 
but everywhere else it was saying included. So, yeah, well, but they've catch. changed. They've changed that. Hey, good catch, and you got two of them. Yeah. <laughs> if you're nice to Traxxas, they usually just help you out. Well, they're very nice, actually. Yeah. I hold them frequently every day now. <laughs> well, now you bought an X Max, so. That's why right. I even called him in the morning to ask him if the, the Bluetooth module will do that temperature. Yes. Because that's the only thing I care about. Yep. <laughs> See, just a little under rotation with these tires. Okay, I want to try what you just did, but I'm afraid that uh, this will die. <laughs> well, my other one that I ran last week had the cheap gears. backflips? You saw, that's all I did last week, was backflips. With the heavy tires. It just don't land on power. Nope. You got to slow down. Okay. And once you're in the air, you got to be half trigger when you hit this oh. and when you hit the top of the jump full trigger and hold it. Oh. Okay. You got to go slower. <laughs> That's why you always see me slow down before the jump. <laughs> and you this feels more powerful. Oh, it is. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> that was not bad. No. Nope. One piece. <laughs> nice. See, I could have backflipped that one, and I was like, ah, I'll tap the brakes. As long as have room to it all depends on the pop. Sometimes you get a pop, sometimes you don't. <laughs> oh yeah i i have the powdered gear still in my other one but i i've learned over the years don't land on power don't land on brakes yeah. you just got to take it a little easier yeah, <laughs> yes No. Yes, well, my summit's 6S. You got to angle for the wheels. I knew I was going to hit that thing. I was going too fast off the jump. Well, the gears are good, but for 40 bucks, I'm gonna get the steel because what You the, should. Yeah, and I got the Traxxas, I don't have to go too fancy. Yeah, no, I like the Traxxas gears. Me too. See how it had that pop? It was already almost all the way around. I had to tap it again in the air to flip it. Yeah. This way has a better pop. Okay, let's try it. It's more straight up. This one's been rounded off now. You know why I'm trying it? Why is that? Because I have a backup XRT. <laughs> I have a backup X Max. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's a lot easier. You see the slope here? Oh, yeah. 
This one's almost straight up, so you can go a lot faster, and in the air, you could probably do a double yeah. easily. Not me. <laughs> yeah, with those tires, you can. Yeah, but well, yeah, you, they're, the glue's coming off. Oh, they rip. Yes. <laughs> As long as it's flat. You've never had to change the, the center drive shaft? No. So those guys, because they fly too crazy. You land in the center on a rock, you're going to bend a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I just don't land that way. Yeah. Yeah. You can see I'm starting to shake. Hey, it's the same even with the belted. The belted is not that bad. It's not bad. No. The other ones are harder because they're heavier. Yeah, yeah. But these are good. That's no, these are good. And they handle more power, so. Since I have more power in this, yeah. it's definitely better to run the belted. Yeah, it definitely has it. And you're uh, like a pound lighter. <laughs> Oh, there, there goes that gear. Oh, the gear. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. as soon as you nailed the trigger, it must have been too big of a gap. Yeah. You hit that trigger and it stripped all the teeth. And I need the hardened man. Yep. You gotta have, you gotta have yep. And that's why I like the wheelie ball. So either the pinion slipped forward, yeah. which happens a lot, yeah. or the teeth went off. Okay, they're coming tomorrow. Yes. Well, I didn't kill the body. Oh, and look, see what I mean by it being out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ripping, yeah it's so it'll it'll continue to rip the body if yeah. you don't catch it and you keep crashing. So you almost have to trim that hole. Oh, see, the oh. bumper bracket's broken. Hey, I broke my front one yesterday. It happens. They're thin. No RPM for the back? I bought the RPM. For no, the front. RPM are worse than factory. Really? Yeah. I just put that in and it didn't break it. Yeah. Why it's worse? What's wrong with it? Keep running it. It's gonna break. You gotta have your own opinion. Yes. RC Guy Garage even showed the rear one he put on with their wheelie bar. It's there. Very uh, But uh, I like uh, RPM on certain things. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, those are X Max? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, one broke, one still running. I saw you guys I actually went at you. Is there any, uh, because I actually came here for the same reason. I have an, a Max, uh -huh. not an X Max. Yeah. Like, aside from this, in like Central Park, is this as good as it gets? No, there's a lot more. What? I mean, there's there's stuff everywhere because the hills. Yeah. You mean just like hiking trails and stuff, right? Not hiking trails. They have uh, the BMX trails or the mountain bike trails. What, just like search for that online? Because this is how I found Well, this you, won't, you won't find it online because it's the guys cutting them into the woods. So if you just walk onto a trail you find, you'll find jumps everywhere. Yeah. No, when I first found this, I'm like, this is great. You know, yeah. <laughs> I come here a lot because they don't frown upon RC here. So. And that's what I was wondering, because the first time I came here, I, I eventually found this corner. It's just some if somebody shows up with a bike, you just try to get out of their way. Yeah, totally. Like, but I wouldn't do this if a kid was like riding around. Yeah, bike but railing. anytime it rains, it's closed up here because yeah, of all the ruts. Yeah, so. Ran into that too. <laughs> yeah, so we just come up here and run then. Yeah. God, how many batteries do you have to have in that? Two. Two of the the lipos. What that like a four S lipo? Two four S. Yep. Four S yep. How long do you get? Like a about a, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yeah, 30, 35 minutes. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was stuck between that and the max. So yep. I just went the max route. Max is just a mini version of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yep. Totally. Awesome. And you'll have oh, just as just much sure. fun. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first. Yep. But they look ex pretty much exactly the same, just scaled up like. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Cool. Nice you guys. All right, have a good one. Yeah. All right, time to go back to the shop. Yeah. Are you going to 
do, Raphael, jump with this car? Uh, I have. This is probably the hardest I've run this car. <laughs> but I bought the blue one to do that. Yeah. That's why I put the white kit on the green one. I really want to see the white kit because I'm yep. interested. Yeah. I've just never seen how it performs and I also don't want it to be exactly XRT because now it's going to be... Oh, it's not thing. exactly XRT. It's different. Still. XRT has still got more stability. And air, the air, the XRT is like rocket in the air. Yeah, the, you just don't... With the white kit and the gearing that the X-Max has, it just doesn't have as much control yeah. as the XRT. Okay. You'd have to gear it up a lot more. Okay. Wow. It, it, yeah, we'll see. Maybe one day. <laughs> see how quiet it is. Okay, so not they're not all the same. Well, it's not that. I had to shim that diff cover on this one, on, on all three of mine, to get rid of that noise. It wasn't the pinion and the spur. It was literally that idler gear in the back where it drives the um, center diff. So you shimmed it up? Yeah, I, sh I put a piece of uh, paper under it and didn't tighten the screws down really hard because if you tighten oh. them down hard, it makes that gear noise. Oh, nice. So it's literally the cush drive cover so, that's uh, making that noise. Okay, so did you ever have a problem that you, when you use the pin, you don't have any mesh? In that yes. Cover? Okay, how did you fix that? I put the pins back in. Well, what do you mean not any mesh no what? i show it in the video you just loosen them with the pins in there and you pry it over and tighten it down because there is slop oh, in it the pin. yeah no, I you it still in. have to adjust it even with the pins okay maybe i have to pry it harder huh? just pry it over to where you have just a little little clicking noise you know yeah. i'll try that i still have them i just have to try it. all yeah. right there we go x max down we'll see uh what uh What's stripped on his? If it lost the spur, or the pinion came loose. Now let's pop the sucker. I say the spur is chewed up. It kind of sounded like it knocked all the teeth off of it. Oh no, it's not. It slid forward. Is it broken? No. Oh, wow. Just it's see how loose. it chipped the teeth when it oh, slid yeah. forward? Oh yeah. Because the cover doesn't have I know the bearing, the bearing on it. You like, see? Wait, can I buy XRT cover and put it in? Uh, possibly. Here you go. Yep. Thank you, Traxxas. But you got to <laughs> use red Loctite. Oh, your grub screw is gone. No worries. I have a whole bag of that stuff. I actually bought a whole box from Amazon. Yeah, that's with these uh, Robinson racing gears. Yeah. They'll they'll do this. Look at the whole edge of the. Chewed it up. It chewed it up because it had been sliding forward for a while. Yeah, as long as it lasts the whole day. Look at all this. Yes. I'm just sorry. No, here. come on. No, 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 no. Here. Just I just got into this. Wow. Yeah, it looks exactly the same, just addiction. So buddy. much beefier. Yes. Addiction. Welcome to the club. Well, yeah. I used to, as a kid, like, you know, yep. in the 80s, I had uh, a. Oh, Tamiya. 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 Yeah, oh. And then, you know. See, I'm stealing his remote. Adults set in and I never really stuck with the hobby and just turn it off. Finally got back into it. You guys have so much back here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's addiction. You're gonna just buy one after one after one. Are those all X Max? Oh, that's a well, that's, right? That's Savage Flux back Savage in the days. Oh, oh switch so, came off. There's so much debate between the X Max and the Max. You know what? I haven't babied this thing at all. I figured if I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna run. The only it. the only issues I had with the Max is every now and then the rear wheels would break off the bearing carriers when you're bashing hard. You just go with aluminum. Oh, okay. That's what I did with my daughter's, and hers has been fine. But the Max is a pretty strong RC car. I figured I'd think about swapping out with aluminum parts. Yep. Like a clown car, just cars and cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, you guys are swapping. Um, are you he's fit. Green one. What's that? You're running the green one. Yeah, the green one's oh, next, I right? Is that brand new? Um, well, like kinda. Okay. It's a few months old. Sure. But I keep them pretty clean, so. Yeah. Awesome. These are the X Max Ultimates, so they have oh, a bunch wow. of aluminum parts on them. Oh, okay, so you can order them just like how much? Do you, if you mind me asking, they're fifteen hundred dollars for the Ultimate or a thousand dollars for that. Right, yeah. Which, uh, which those are just as, if not stronger than this. Yeah. So 
No, those are nice and fancy. The only They're fancy. I, instead of buying that, I bought this and 200 bucks more and I got the, this guy. Yeah. So that's it. That's that. But I like this. I like the fancy. And the, no, it's definitely definitely cool. You get the aluminum diff covers, the bearing carriers that are aluminum, all the fancy upgrades, which everything you can do to one of these. So they just did it in a ready to run. I remember the original one from my child that we built it part by part. This one just came ready to go. And now, the... <laughs> did you hear about the new, uh, the new, uh, slash? yeah, the 6S Eight, slash? I called Traxxas. I told the guy, uh -huh. Chris, this morning, uh -huh. I'm like, have you seen the 6S slash? He's like, no. I'm like, well, I'm waiting for the 8S slash. They call it what? Max slash Max or something? Slash, yes, right. Max slash. I'd like to see it, you know? I have a feeling it's going to be a, a, like a Max 4S chassis type thing but with the slash body and the slash arms and all that on it. Yeah, we'll see. I, I'm just excited that they're bringing new stuff. Yes. Yeah. And I'm very sad they got rid of the Revo and the Summit because I think the Summit is one of It's funny, I sold both of my E-Revos. I saw that, yep. but you had the V2. Yeah, the 2.0s. No, I have the V1. Yeah. The beginner. Yes. Like uh, even Traxxas, there was a part I was replacing a diff ca cover. Uh -huh. There was a part that it's not in the manual. Yeah. And well, that's the problem with my Summit. The parts I got in that now, uh -huh. the aftermarket parts, that company went out of business. So I can't get the metal diffs oh. and stuff that I have in that. So if I break it, I got to go back to stock and then yeah. it's got to go back to 4S. I know. Honestly, I still love it with 4S. Yeah. It's just a blast on 6S. Yeah, you're going fast. I'm going. I got the speed. Yeah. No. Tricks in the air, all that, and a two-speed transmission. Come on. <laughs> he is so cool. I can crawl and do 60 miles an hour. That's where you I know? was caught between that, like getting a crawler for like Vasquez rocks and whatnot. Yeah. And then this, or the the Max. But okay. Vasquez rocks, they're they're banning all yeah. RCs oh. up there now. Oh, I missed my window, I guess. Yeah, they had an event up there and they left all the markings on the rocks. They didn't clean them off. Uh, yeah. So now yeah, they I banned guess. it because they're destroying the area. I guess I understand that. And the horse people hate us too. Sure. Yeah, the horse <laughs> horse people can't stand it. Well, I'm sure horses aren't fan, no. fans of the RC car business. No. And I don't like the dog people <laughs> because of the dog piles everywhere. They poop everywhere. Now that is true. When well, they don't. It's not so much the dog's fault as the pe the owner. No, I I agree. <laughs> Some people. The dog is gonna poop. And the dog is yeah. gonna poop. It's part of the responsibility. <laughs> Right. One, let me ask you one more thing. I think I, I'm doing the right thing in terms of the lipo safety. I mm. bought a bat box. So uh -huh. I store. Uh, it's called a bat box. It's a. It's basically. Uh, ammo. I was going to do an ammo box. It's a fire safe battery box. So uh -huh. basically like an ammo box. Yeah. Uh, I'm storing them to storage levels. Yeah. But I have it in my house. But I'm charging outside. I mean that's. Well, I just actually, went down the rabbit hole of searching online of all the horror stories and they're like little bombs. And they are and in the house, even in the battery box, remember, it's gonna sure. it's gonna catch on fire on the outside. Yeah. So if it's on carpet or near anything flammable, best thing to do is if you have a barbecue pit outside. I do have a barbecue. Stick it in there. If you have a patio, stick it on the patio. Is it bad up here for the temperature shifts? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, you know. You, when it's freezing cold, you got to get them out of the cold. It has to be inside, or you, the exact opposite, the hot. Yes, yeah. it, hot, same thing. You got to keep it cool. So, like mine, I keep them in the garage. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, like I went down the checklist. They were like, store it in your garage. My car. My but garage. away from everything. Exactly. It can't be tight against something. I have two electric cars jammed in the garage yep. already. So it's just gonna light that on fire. Yeah, or the electric car is gonna light the RC on fire. Exactly. As long as you have good insurance. Because <laughs> your car has the same batteries in it. Sure. The lithium. So yeah, yeah. they're just in a better protective case. Yeah. You know, I'm not worried about any of these. I never charge them to charge mode. I fill them up and leave them in the garage because we have a Tesla. So the fire will be bigger with the Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. I'm, I'm on the other side of that yep. window or that door. I got a, a Tesla over there too. Yeah. That's why I have two Teslas next to each other. Yeah. And I'm going to have the car in there too with the batteries and yeah. it just seems like a nightmare it's just when you're not checking on the batteries every you know week if you let them sit in there for three months and you've never looked at them they could be puffed and ready to catch on fire how often would you suggest me every week at looking at them even though they're in storage mode? even if they're in storage okay. in your box just peek open peek it and when if you open it and you smell that funny smell you'll know what it is yeah. it's time <laughs> to start looking at your batteries because one of them's venting real bad 
And battery wise, do you guys stick with Traxxas? Because I went down there. No, I, I run. Cheapshit.com right there. <laughs> I run better brands than, than cheapcrap.com. I, I run the cheapest shit. Yes. 60 bucks, I can get eight batteries instead of two Traxxas. Yep. And because I have a million car, I need a million batteries. Yes. <laughs> have you That's ever a had a battery like well, uh, go, go critical? Well, oh, yeah, I had one go up here last week. Or two weeks fire, ago. Fire, fire? It started smoking, remember? Well, it's a 30 second uncontrolled fire. There's nothing. Yeah, that's why that. when it started, <laughs> when it punctured and I was checking it, I squeezed on it, it started smoking. I was like, okay, cut the ends. At that point, you get a bucket of water, pour a bunch of table salt in it, like a half a bag of table salt, put it in, in water. Oh, 24 hours, that battery's done, dead. There's no power in it, and then throw it away. And you said you. What did you cut? Like you could. I, I cut the battery ends off of it. Like as the it was wires. smoking. It, it doesn't matter if it's smoking or not. It's just when you're ready to dip it in the salt, cut the battery ends because I reuse the battery ends. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. See, I'm I'm still very new on the hobby, and I just I watched all the videos of them lighting on fire and all the nightmares. Yep. I, I, for like uh, you know four months, I watched stuff on YouTube. Yep. And... You probably watched some of my videos. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Very cool. I watched one guy, he took an, a Max, it was in London, and they just destroyed it just to show how much it could take. But yep. he, Kevin Talbot. Yeah, yeah. Everybody watched yeah. that guy. Yeah, he comes up. The end yeah. goal was just ramming it into like a fence post. And yes. It just yeah. into like, you know. <laughs> Not, it's fun. Play. Awesome. That was very cool. Nice meeting, guys. Nice meeting you. I'm going to get over there and, and drain my batteries. Sounds <laughs> good. Everyone. You too. All right, so this is good to go for a while. <sighs> something else. Oh yeah, I ripped my body from the back too. I wish I had my son. All right, well that's gonna end this video. Stay tuned for the next video of running the wide X-Max Ultimate. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Another day in the life of E46. Another transmission gone. Got a tow truck on its way. Another transmission blow up on the freeway. Shot smoke on the back. All the cars covered in transmission fluid. Couldn't get the car stopped because the brakes were covered in transmission fluid. So the disc, this left front wheel, you can see the original trail coasted into that spot there from that point on it just stopped moving because it ran out of fluid love the wagon last time what happened was the converter balloon took out the pump seal and I have a feeling the same thing happened again I think uh, last time that happened was in 2021 got it fixed Got a tow truck on its way right now to get this thing repaired, take it down to the trans guy, have this transmission redone. We'll see. All right, there's it. There it goes. My buddy Swift taking it down to uh, to Marcos Pacoima Transmission.